Does the position of the placenta in the uterus enable you to determine the sex of a fetus? How do you determine the position of the placenta? Stay tuned. The point where an embryo implants will determine the position of the placenta in the uterus. Early in a pregnancy, when the size of the placenta is small, there are five possible locations for a placenta. Right, left, anterior, posterior, and at the top. Later in pregnancy, the placenta grows larger so it can cover two or three locations at the same time. Using ultrasound, the uterus can be seen and the placenta can be identified in the uterus. Most of the time, this is a straightforward procedure. However, the uterus doesn't always look the way it looks in the textbooks. Sometimes the uterus can be flipped forward. Sometimes it can be flipped back. It can also be rotated clockwise or counterclockwise. Is it possible to determine the genetic sex of a fetus by looking at the position of the placenta in the uterus? Really seems unlikely. The first question I had is why this would happen. Is one side of the uterus better for a male or female embryo? Not likely. The uterus is symmetrical. That means that the left and right sides are the same. The anterior and posterior sides are also the same. Embryo implantation is one of the earliest events in pregnancy. It occurs several days after ovulation when the embryo is a blastocyst. There are no known differences between male and female embryos at that point. So how exactly would this amazing phenomena occur? Does the uterus pull embryos of a certain sex to one side? Or does the embryo of a certain sex migrate in the uterus to find a location that it likes? Or does the embryo implant anywhere, but embryos of only one sex are miscarried from one side and embryos from the other sex are miscarried from the opposite side? None of these really make much sense. Well, what does the scientific data say? I found three small studies on this topic. In these studies, an ultrasound was performed during the first trimester. They then waited until birth to determine the apparent sex of the baby. Study number one said that about 70% of the male babies came from a right-sided placenta, and 70% of the females came from the left side. Anterior and posterior did not matter. Study number two found that about 70% of the girls had an anterior placenta. Right side and left side did not matter. Exactly the opposite of the first study. It was also very suspicious that there were no instances in which the location of the placenta was not clearly seen on one side or the other. Study number three was the largest of the three studies. This study seems also to have the best quality. For example, they reported that in about one third of the ultrasounds, the location of the placenta was not clearly on one side or the other. This study did not find any relationship between the location of the placenta and the sex of the fetus. Our Infertility TV bottom line is this. There is no scientific reason for the location of the placenta to be different based on the sex of an embryo when it implants. Furthermore, there is no consistent high quality evidence that the location of the placenta will predict the sex of a baby one born. Whatever the location of the placenta, you're likely to be correct about 50% of the time. Infertility TV is your most trusted source for accurate information on infertility and miscarriage. If you are not a subscriber yet, hit the subscribe button right now. A new episode is released every week. Don't miss any episodes. You can also check us out on our website, ivf1.com, where you can become a patient.